right, welcome to this edition of Undercover Boss. You can see that I've joined the Lake Middle School Food Service, Nutrition Services team this morning, and I've been fortunate enough to spend some time with Jeannie Yi and, and working with her, learning a little bit about the focus that she has as one of our important food service people and, and helping our kids to, to eat a nutritious lunch and be ready to go to class uh, after lunch. We're very proud of our menus, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So thank you for letting me spend some thank time you. with you. Thank you for helping me make sauce. All right. Well, I'd like to ask you about uh, your experience and how long you've worked here. And I know that, that you made a transition from a, a different career that you went into after school. And, and so maybe you could also tell us why you were interested in working. Well, I've always there. had a passion to cook. I think cooking is in my blood with my father owning a restaurant. So when the opportunity came that I could work as a lunch lady, I jumped on it. I love to work with kids and the Chinese are food pushers. So we love to serve food and it just happened. I've been here for about a year, a year as a kettle cook. So can you explain what a kettle cook is and what your wheat might look like a typical week? <clears throat> Kettle cook is cooking everything in this big kettle that you are doing. I cook the marinara sauce all from scratch, taco meat, um, sloppy joes for the elementary students, chicken gravy that goes on top of your biscuits, and that's, I don't know. But we're a central kitchen here, correct? And so you're not only cooking for the Lake Middle School kids, you're also cooking for yes, the school. Yes, yes, we are central kitchen for the north end. The south end ha is Cottage Grove Middle School. So there's a, including our school, there's 11 schools that I would cook for. All the sauces, they get frozen and make it, put it in a gallon bag, freeze it, and we ship it out every morning to all the schools. So I know we started uh, making some sauce this morning. Can you tell us about the menu and what we were doing and, and what happens after you complete your work? Well, today we're having Italian dunkers at our school. So I usually try to schedule to make sauce that day. So at least our kids here have a fresh sauce. I don't have to put it in the freezer. We're gonna just dump it in the buckets and in the warmers. So the, the sauce is all from scratch. I opened 33 cans of um, sauce yesterday and that's what you were dumping in this morning. And we mix everything up. But so, Italian Dunkers are one of the kids' Italian favorites, Italian Dunkers they? is one of the most popular dishes. It seems like all the kids love it. It's a piece of cheese bread, and you get to dip the sauce. The middle schools, the secondary schools, offer a meatless sauce and a meat sauce. So what we made today is our meatless sauce. It's the same as our meat sauce, except we add beef crumbles in the meat sauce. So it's a very, it's, I think it's one of the most popular meals here. And then now we've switched it so we can have it twice a month instead of once a month on our rotation. So what's the, the favorite, your favorite part about your role and responsibility that you might look forward to? Um, I get to cook every day, which I love to do. I get also get out to see the kids and serve once in a while because the kettle cook is done in the cooking is done in the morning and I'm usually we're usually done by about ten o'clock and then we start feeding the kids. And as since you've been here, are there changes that you've seen that you're excited about for kids on our, on our menu? I know we've been doing a lot of work over the last couple of years, and I'm curious on what you see in the future. Oh, I'm really, I was really impressed that a lot of stuff is cooked from scratch and also batch cooking. We don't just cook everything in the morning at 10 o'clock and just keep them in the warmers. We just cook enough for the first lunch shift and then we continue on to the very last lunch shift. We cook batch cook. So every, all the food is fresh. Now um, you also have a consumer of our lunches, your, your daughter here at Lake, right. correct? Mm -hmm. Does she give you critiques about what she likes and what she doesn't? Um, once in a while, she does like the Asian salad she likes, and it was off our menu at the middle school for a little while. Now it's back, so she's very happy about that. I think she likes the variety of choices we have too. We have always two hot lunches on the line, and also we have sandwiches and salads and soup. So there's a lot of variety that. For uh, if someone wanted to go into working with us in our nutrition services, what what skill set would they need? And what makes a, a good 
Um, you need to have a passion books. for kids and cooking. It's not a job for everyone. It's a lot of hustle bustle, which I think it surprises a lot of people when they do come. They just think that they're going to serve, but there's, you know, dishes to be done. Everything has to be done on a timely manner because we have kids to serve. We have our schedule is posted on all the our walls, what time the kids come. And so between the lunch shift, they're in the kitchen doing dishes. And then five minutes, two minutes before lunch serves again, they get their hands washed, get back out on the line and get their gloves on and get ready for the kids to come. So there's not a stopping time at all here. Once the kids start coming, all six lunches, we serve six lunches and from quarter to 11 to 10 to 12, or 10 to 1. And it's six lunch shift and it's quite a few kids there. And what I would tell the audience is that in all the time that I've been in our, our schools and in our kitchens, there's such a great pride in the work that that they're accomplishing for our kids. The consistency in high quality um, procedures to put in place to make sure that the meals uh, come out uh, aesthetically <clears throat> pleasing and also tasting good. It, it doesn't go unnoticed that you work really hard to have a, a great culture back there with, with your folks right. and that you're proud of what you do. Oh, we are very proud of what we do, yeah. Great. Now, do you, would you, if you had to critique my work so far, how, how would you say I've done? Um, I mean, it's, it's good. Do I have a potential good. if I wanted to work harder? <laughs> you have to work a little faster and a little earlier in the morning. <laughs> you have right. to come here at 6. <laughs> right, I got here about two and a half hours after the shift really started being lazy. Um, but but I appreciate the, mm -hmm. the guidance that you've given me and, and learning about our our work day to day really being in there with folks has, has given me a, a much greater appreciation for again the pride that we have, the high quality product that we produce, and we're really proud right. of the nutrition for our kids. Thank you. Yeah, it is very good. Well, I appreciate and uh, you allowing me to spend some time. I hope as uh, community members, if you ever have a chance to come in and eat a school lunch, please take that opportunity. If you haven't been in to have a lunch since maybe you've been in school or you hear some of the stereotypical things that used to be around about school lunches, it's completely different. And I think you'd be just amazed. And it's a type of place where you probably want to eat every day if you came here once. So thanks for tuning in and I look forward to, to our next edition. And thanks again, Jeannie. You're very welcome.